Alrighty then, back onto the show. I think I'm going to um, just finish this up with the Blackpool sequels and then the Coco fight. Also, if you haven't been paying attention to the plot, don't worry, neither have I, then uh, um, y you would know, well, if you have been paying attention to it, you would know that all of Crash's friends, Crunch, Coco, and Crash, have been brainwashed and are now trying to kill him. Alright. I'll, I'll, I'll buy it. Now this was something I was actually... Did he just get a box for me? Yeah, something I was in fact not aware of, because I never play this game with sound, is that the shark comes forward when the music plays. Now this is, of course, entirely obvious if you are playing with the sound, but if you aren't... Oh god! Well, there's no landmark, so I'm just going to keep rolling. No editing here. But if you are playing with the sound, then it's obvious, hey, he comes forward when the music plays. But if you aren't playing with sound, you may think it's just completely random. So I was not aware that there was actually a tell to it. Also, that was, I swear, the first... And uh, I missed the gem. The first time I've ever been hit by him. Wait, wait a clip in the background there. Technically, the way you're supposed to dodge him is uh, by strafing left and right when he comes near. But the only reason... Oh god, sequels. The only reason you should ever get hit by it is if you are currently on the um, reeds, seaweed stuff. Damn it, I only missed two. And on to... Oh, wait, no, this isn't the boss. Alright, good. Good to know I wasn't doing a three minute recording. Fuck that monkey. Now this is a fun as hell level to do the uh, time trials on, and I'm looking forward to it, personally. I remember this. I, I remember having a good time with this one. Of course, that might have been um, my gaming mask is talking. Well, we'll have to see. Once again, look down there. There are wampas. Therefore, there is path. Now, yeah, I'm not going to hit that yet. Because I remember this being a dick. And I don't want to do it... Two times. See? It's required to come down here to get the gem. And as you'll see, it is a whore. Because it stops. And it makes you go. Ugh! Fuck! Editing. Fuck. <laughs> well, I accidentally hit the checkpoint, so uh, now I can't. Hey, I got him. So now I can't save my progress in this area. Cool. Cool. Come on. J -j fuck! I have a new plan. Don't worry, it is a plan that actually might work. But now I have to do this part without food to pick up. Good. See, th this level's fun for the time trials, but it's a bitch to get the gems in. Go back. I, I can get that box later. Yes! That was my plan. I'm lying, but that was my plan. Just believe me. And now I have to avoid dying. Those birds are pretty much harmless. Actually, I'm not positive, but I think the um, bonuses actually count as a surrogate... Um, uh, as a sort of checkpoint. I can't remember for sure. I might be lying. Yes, crash teabag with music. Pretty sure there's land under this, so I'll go ahead and get the wampas. Uh, uh, oh, fuck! <laughs> um, come back? Good. Uh, that was worrying. I might have had to spend some extra time on this. That would have been a, that would have been a tragedy. I know. Let's fly off the edge. Must always spaz. It is a requirement. Just like uh, wasting time by teabagging here. Whoa, that was weird. That was really weird. 
it was m moving at the speed I thought I did a normal a uh, normal slide, but it just lagged. I didn't check uh, I didn't check my frame rate. Oh, here's a new thing. This box freezes all enemies. It's pretty useless actually. And here comes a new gimmick. That's not too bad. The helicopter. You can't really do anything on the helicopter except move around with the D-pad and spin, of course, with the B button. Um, this is actually a really good thing. Also, you break boxes just by touching them, so. This is a really good thing for the time trial because although it feels slow, at the same time, it's kind of relaxing. You're not optimizing your movements entirely. I mean, you kind of do. But you don't really worry about dying because this section's pretty easy. And, uh, let's see if I win. I win! Alright, now all that's left in the second area is Evil Coco. Who's a. M and I, we're using the helicopter. Evil Coco happens to be a much easier boss than Evil Crunch. In fact, I should be able to do it without any, um. any boot up goes, even though I haven't done this fight in ages. So we'll have to see. To dodge this laser, obviously you just stand at the opposite side of her. And, um, the mines, the, the missiles she drops is just a case of waiting for the one in front of you to drop and then, and going. This is just a waiting battle and it's pretty easy. If you can, always try to get in the air, in the direction she's not going. And then when she drops a barrier, you do that. Now, the floor is gone, but it's really not a big deal. Considering I always kind of stay in the middle. Just because I'm paranoid about... Hitting, uh, hitting the ground. And now I think she's gonna crash, and I win. No damage. Go me. The rocket jump. Hells yeah. This is another new power in the game, and we'll see it next time, because I'm going to stop my recording now. So, it's been fun, it's been real. Bye-bye, YouTube.